What's going on guys, Mr. Akali here, coming at you with another match review. And boy, do we got a hilarious moment right out of the gate before the match even starts. See how Preds got his power raid right there? Check this out. <laughs> the moment he put it down, the Dio just like, nope. Just like snatches it and puts it on the ground and like, Get that shit off the desk. <laughs> Either way, let's go ahead and jump into this. We got Pred versus Enzim. This one should be really crazy. They're fighting to see who goes into the loser side of the world tour. So let's not waste any time and jump right on into this. So needless to say, we've got two very spooky teams. They skipped the dramatic intro. There's no time for drama. We got games to play here. We got games to play. And we are, we are playing some Fierce Neutral here. Wow, that was almost a tragedy. Enzim is playing the long con right now. He is just backing up, gathering time till he has enough energy to perfect attack. There it goes. And the mix, cheese, man. Just a reminder that perfect attack is a DP that does not scale on hit and leads to a 50-50 on block. Very balanced, balanced game right now. Damn, they got the anime music. Man, I, I don't think that's gonna come through in the video by the time I put my music on, but man, y'all gotta be careful. That anime music gets gets claimed. You're gonna get the, your own stream claimed. <laughs> but there goes Cell taking out Gohan. Here comes the coat. Oh my goodness, we are spinning with the intention of winning. Ooh, so, I mean, you probably already know, but for those that don't, let me just go ahead and point this out. This is a negative scenario here. So Enzo, he doesn't have any assists left. He decides to end his string pressure after baiting a lot and staggering a lot. He ends his string pressure with a rolling crush, and it's still his turn because even though this move is very negative, it's too negative for you to press a button, but perfect attack. <laughs> So he can literally perfect attack here and steal his turn back. And if he were to do that, you know, Pred would basically die. So Pred acknowledges this and instead of trying to take his turn, which it is his turn, he just backs off. So now they're back to neutral. This is the ultimate strength of Cell. Like this is what basically makes him, you know, a top one broken character is that you're not allowed to play the game. By this. We are chilling, we're playing neutral. Enzim, there's no reason for him to do anything right now. He's got the health lead, he's got the character lead. No reason to take any risks. Oh, and there it goes. There it goes, wake up perfect attack. And that is gonna hurt. That's gonna do so much damage and most likely even go into a level three scenario. Ooh, it dropped. That would have been a level three scenario right there. And once again, no reason for Enzim to do anything here. Man, the, ooh, so Pred knew that he did not have the resources to kill. Like now that he's down an assist, got a lot of meter, but he's down an entire character. So he was not gonna be able to kill off this. So he opted to go for a very cheeky reset there. But he does force the spark out of Enzim, that's good. Ooh, that was almost a tragedy. Whoa. Let me see that again, was that just a double spin? We did spin to knock him down, call an assist, and then just spin again? <laughs> Jesus, frame one anti-air, by the way. Frame one. Ooh, we're tagging out here, keeping the healthy character, and Enzim's also tagging out here. Bring in the level three character. It's funny how this late into the game, raw tag is still so powerful, it still hits everybody. Same side, press one if you got hit. 
Press 1 if you got hit. Sheesh. That is so hard to block. Optimization station, you do in fact love to see it. Wow. That's not going to kill, but it's going to be a pixel. Whoa, that was, man, ships passing each other in the night. IED back, falling H, run up to H. Luckily, Enzim's feet hit the ground before the active frames of the 2H actually started up because he did pass through the invol part of it. Ooh, tried to take a turn and got jabbed. It's not looking too good for Pred right here. I'll never count out on Anchor Labcoat. Anchor Labcoat can always make it happen, but this is going to be extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. Can't see. Really can't see. Yeah, that was actually unsafe. There's pretty much, this was a checkmate scenario. I don't know if Pred meant to do that like that. I think, oh, I see. He was trying to do the TK version so that it wasn't unsafe, but he kind of messed the input up, so he had to vanish, and then that just put him in a, pretty much a checkmate, because he was gonna get punished anyway. So, yeah. Because if you TK, that is to say, Tiger Knee, the spin, it becomes safe. Whereas if you just do it raw, it is punishable. Remember when it wasn't punishable? Remember those days? Crazy. So we are, we're doing coaching on both sides. Both sides taking a moment to gather their thoughts. This is very, very important. This is the last game. So, you know, this game literally decides who goes on, who goes home. So I wouldn't blame either of them for taking some time and just focusing up. Cause I mean, this, this is everything. <laughs> this man, Damascus, he said, if it were me, I would just not lose. <laughs> Shout out to Damascus and Tyrant. All right, same team, same build, same everything. We're going back in, going back in. The anime music is gone. Anime music is gone. We got, I think, I think he picked West City theme. Let's see what happens. Dramatic intro skipped once again. We're standing on business here. We don't have time for, for dramatics. We don't have time for cutscenes. We want violence always. We want every last bit of the smoke. Ooh, okay, so Cell is stocked up. Ooh, and that's gonna be a pickup. Kienzon has a ton of hit stun. Ooh, that was very nice. That was very nice. We talked about that in the last set. This is the best way to pressure lab coat. Do a meaty assist call. Well, that wasn't really meaty. That was more of a dash OS assist call. But same, same thing. He forces out the spark. And rolling crush. I'm coming back in. Oof. Enzim's feeling confident, dude. This is some strong confidence. He stole a lot of turns there, man. It takes a major confidence to steal turns on lap coat. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Enzim is definitely feeling himself right now. We're moving. Barrier. Dang, it's like... Pred has got shackles on right now, dude. He's got shackles on his ankles. He cannot move freely. 17 is just spoiling everything. He got it from so far. Oh, man. I think Pred's intention here was to just ignore it and move past it. And he did, but he 5L'd into it. Oh, man. Because the 17 anti-assist call is very, very, very strong, but its weakness is that he targets where you were and not where you are. So it is, I'm not gonna say easy, but it is possible to get away from it, even if you do call an assist. Ooh, this is gonna be spooky. I mean, it is spooky. This is, mm, Fred, good luck. Good luck, man. No. Oh, that was tight. I like it. I, I actually, I love it. He just dashed out. He saw that it was not a true string. He saw that it was not true pressure, that it was more of like a bait cross-up situation, and he just dashed out. I respect that. Because you got to always remember, 
In this game, in order to mix somebody up, most of the time you have to leave a large gap in your offense. And a lot of times those gaps can be dashed out of. 90% of the time, honestly, gaps can be dashed out of freely. But it takes a lot of nerve to, to go for that in the heat of the moment. It's a lot, it's one of those things that's way easier said than done. Ends him, he's got the lead again. Oh, man. Perfect attack assist, I feel, is just... It's so fast, man. It's its just... It's really hard to react to when you're trying to play neutral. Like, it's deceptively fast for a C assist because there's a lot of C assists that have, like, this long... You know, like, they take, like, 20 seconds to actually come out and hit you, but the ones that come out instantly are, like... They're scary. Dang, Pred has 21 and a prayer. This is gonna be hard, dude. Because Enzim's playing in complete defense mode and it's just, Pred has not been able to get in at all. And what's really sad about this is like what Pred is doing right now, like is just building Enzim meter. Enzim's got the health and character advantage and him just sitting over there with 18, just calling barrier, is building him meter on top of it. Look at that. And like, there's not really anything Pred can do. He's not He's not playing poorly. There's, there's no options here. <laughs> this is rough, man. This is not the situation you want to end up in. And then here we go. I don't think Enzim's gonna do the same mix this time. Oh, he did, he did. Oh, so that was a mind game. That would have got me. That would have got me. That That's smart right there. Because of the fact that Pred dashed out last time, most people would switch to do a different mix up that stops it, but he did it again. And then Pred <laughs> is on the same thought pattern. He's like, I know that you know that you think I'm gonna fall for that and I'm not, so I'm just gonna dash out again. <laughs> that was sick, that was deja vu. Oh man, Pred is, he is just, he is just lost in the middle of the ocean. This is just unfortunate. Okay, he's got something, oh my goodness. Dang. Can't even blame him, dude. Can't even blame them. There were there were basically no options there. With a little bit of a pop off right there, I respect it. That was GG's. That was definitely GG's. So the turning point in this one is a pretty basic one. It's one of those where you probably don't need me to point it out this time, but we're gonna talk about it anyway. The turning point was definitely just the point war here because what Enzim's doing right here, he did for this entire set, which is to just play his characters properly, play defensive. And this opening right here on Gohan, this just was the beginning of the end because Pred, at this point, Pred has the tools to chase Enzim because, you know, he has assists and all that good stuff. But once, you know, Gohan got picked up, and then this led to lab coat getting picked up and then once he fell behind on a character and 18 was out all that was going to happen was was just this again and like this this was just the whole set it was just the burden of proof was on pred to chase ends him down but 18 is one of the hardest characters to chase down plus he's got the perfect attack assist behind her so yeah this was a classic case of Whoever loses the first character is gonna be the one that struggles. And with that, we have reached the end of the review. Thanks so much for listening, guys. I believe that brings us to the end of the group stage reviews. And as we've already reviewed the World Tour Top 8, that's gonna do it for this series of match reviews. Thanks so much for listening to all these guys. I really appreciate it. Glad so many people say that they enjoy watching these. I enjoy making them. So these will probably be on pause for a little bit until the next big major rolls around. I think uh, Texas Showdown is coming up. So last year, I don't think they actually recorded the sets. Hopefully they record them this year. But yeah, I think Texas Showdown down so keep an eye out for that whatever the next big major is i'll be sure to cover it here so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it leave a like if you enjoy these and i will catch you fellas in the next one
Peace.